Hello, this is Bern, and if you're searching for a more meaningful connection with a man, and you're unwilling to settle for what most couples and human beings end up creating, which is disappointing at best, then what I'm exploring with you today on this video is attracting a spiritual partnership with a man. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious and ambitious women how you can attract the man and the relationship you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques and tricks. Now, the topic for today is dear to my heart, and the reason why I'm expressing it is because I see a void in what human beings are experiencing versus what they want, and sometimes not being able to put into words that thing they're seeking. So I think there's power in being able to clearly articulate, this is what I'm going for, this is what I'm seeking, this is what I'm willing to not settle for less than this. Because when you do that, you stand a chance to get it. When you don't, it's hit or miss. Now, what type of depth are you seeking in a partnership? And why is this question relevant today? I take you back a few decades to when your grandma was entering a relationship. And then when your mom was entering a relationship, maybe even back to when your great grandma was entering a relationship. Today, right now, as you sit here in front of me, this is one of the first times in human history where you have the capacity to enter a relationship primarily to fulfill a spiritual need inside of you instead of a logistical need, uh, a need for property, a need for survival. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a different thing. Now, as I share this with you, you can also recognize you're standing on the shoulders of women who may have died or actually died in the process of wanting something else that they didn't get. So the reason why this is relevant right now is because you stand a chance at this point in time to create something, a before and after for the future generations in terms of what's possible in a union and a partnership. And if you're like most human beings, most women I've had the blessing of connecting with, you want more. You want more than a physical connection. You want more than a one-night stand. You want more than even a, an emotional connection. You want something that transcends beyond what you can touch and what you can feel and what you can see. And that's the thing we're exploring today. So if you're one of those human beings who by mistake click on this video and you're looking for the five tips to land the guy in 24 hours, I'm not your guy right now to help you. But if you're willing to be patient with me as I explore this theme with you, which is not necessarily the easiest thing to talk about, uh, I, I can assure you that at the end of this video, you'll find a deeper sense of peace and also more clarity in terms of what are the steps needed if you want to attract a spiritual partnership into your life. Um, I'll start by saying this. All relationships are spiritual relationships. There's nothing that, because why? Because there's nothing where spirit is not in my book. Now, the difference between what I'm talking about and saying all relationships are spiritual relationships and all spiritual contracts or contracts that you have with people our spiritual contracts is the intention behind what you want to create and the consciousness level with which you enter and navigate the relationship. Here's what I mean. There's a marked difference in my book between a spiritual contract you might have with someone who's an abusive guy who is a painful relationship where if you choose to learn something from it, move outside of it and learn how to value yourself more, not because the guy was great, but because he didn't treat you great, and now you need to learn how to do that for yourself, there's a spiritual contract in that which is not necessarily fun. Actually, it's pretty painful and, and not necessarily the type of spiritual relationship I'm talking about right now. What I am talking about right now is where you intentionally set to create a connection with a man that is going to transcend what both of you are here for individually. In other words, well, first let me share with you what a relationship that spiritual in nature is not. Because I think there's some confusion in this day and age. And again, this is my definition. I could be completely wrong. But as someone who has dedicated his life, the, the large portion of his life, to helping human beings create what they want in terms of relationships, here's what my definition is not. It is not a relationship where you get to wake up every day and do yoga, although that could be spiritual in place. But that's not what defines it. It's not a relationship where you get to sing uh, uh, and align your chakras uh, at the same time. It's not a relationship where you get to share Instagram pictures of your beautiful, sublime, and almost perfect relationship with the world as an example 
uh, of pure possibility without sharing the depth of challenge and shit that happens in it. A spiritual relationship for me, by definition, would be a union that has three fundamental components. One is you. Your unique blessing, your unique gifts, and your soul. Then there's the man with his own purpose, mission, soul, uh, needs, and wants. And then there's a third entity. And the third entity is the relationship. And the third entity is greater than the sum of both parts. So what I mean by the entity is greater than the sum of both parts is that the relationship itself becomes a vehicle for inspiration to other human beings, becomes a vehicle for doors opening, becomes um, a tool for elevating the experience, the joy, the consciousness level of human beings around you, and bring something of value to the world that neither you nor him could have brought together in the same force with the same passion into the world, but without with, with, with both of you together. So it's like one plus one equals a hundred, not for your own benefit or your own family's benefit necessarily only, but for the benefit of something greater than yourself. So you bet you, you seek to express and expand something so pure and so amazing in its in perfect imperfection that you can inspire, elevate, and help other human beings connect with something deep within themselves. That is my definition uh, of a spiritual partnership, something that creates something bigger for the benefit of something outside of the relationship, not just the relationship itself. Now, what, what are the stages that you, I think, need to navigate through if you want to sooner rather than later be able to create, enter, attract one of these relationships. The first one has to do with developing your own spiritual awareness and connection with yourself, which is something that's easier said than done. Why? Because this means that you, for you to create something that's going to add value to others, you have to be able to fulfill needs of yourself in many specific ways, but also have a cup that's overflowing with greatness because from deficit it's hard to offer something when you're lacking a lot so this means your ability to create a life that you're proud of within yourself and a life that is by definition something inspiring for other human beings and again it, it people have different levels of inspiration this doesn't have to follow a particular uh, way of being you don't have to teach this in any way it's simply who you are, the vibration of you. What do you bring to the world through being you and doing what you are excited to contribute and singing your own song of you? So that's the first stage, right? The connection you have with yourself. It's, in, it's really hard to create something spiritual in nature with someone when there's a lot of deficit lacking inside of you. So you start from your cup is full and you seek to create a connection with another full cup so that you can create more versus I'm a half cup and she, he's a half cup and together we create one. That's not what I'm talking about. So that's the first step. Second step is the process of dating as a spiritual practice, which I've talked about in other videos. I'll link it in the description here. Spiritual practice, I'll just give you a quick summary for that, means that you're not dating is not the inevitable evil you have to go through to catch a husband. That's how most human beings do it. But there's a deeper way you can do this, which is understanding that the lessons you'll go through the self-expression that you have to step into, the boundaries, the, the definition of who you are, finding your worth, expressing value, all those things are going to be something that help you evolve as a spiritual being in addition to the end goal that you end up getting. It's almost like the, the journey is more important than the final destination. The final destination is important, but it's not more important than the journey, right? Because the journey is life. Life is what happens in between the milestones, right? There's five or six important milestones. The day you're born, the day you get married, uh, when you win your first X, whatever that is for you, whether it's an award or a million dollars or something, that's, those are going to be a few things that you get to experience in life. Those are a few milestones, but everything else, which pretty much is everything, is your life. So spiritual practice means understanding that you can evolve and you can become a better human being, a more gifted human being, a more generous human being, a higher vibrational soul 
as a reflection of the way you date, the way you connect, and the way you view the lessons that you have to go through to get to the other side. That's the second step. So first step is developing spiritual awareness within yourself. Second one is dating as a spiritual practice. Third one is entering exclusivity with a man who can meet you at that level and who can also have the focus of one plus one is 100. And what I want to create with you is not just for our selfish interests, self self interests right and for our own specific needs but for the needs of something greater than ourselves starting with maybe a family but if there's no family continuing with people around you uh, people who get a chance to witness you people who get a chance to be inspired by the level of love and depth and connection and generosity and expressiveness that you guys can create together that's what that's the goal the goal is to go beyond yourself beyond your own unique needs, even beyond your own family needs, and create something that transcends the space and time of your specific situations and can add value to the world and can elevate others and can help human beings who may not have the chance to, to know what's possible, to understand, not through lessons that you teach them, not through pontificating, but through witnessing your experience and saying, I want that and I see myself in you and I see myself in your experience, and I want to create something like this that benefits the world. So my lesson to you, my, my two cents, is if you've been doing this relationship thing for a while and you're not getting what you want, it might be worthwhile, instead of lowering your standards, to say, I'm going to get what I think I can, I'm going to go for the gold. And the gold is something that b goes beyond what most people seek, but also creates a deeper level of fulfillment that most people get a chance to create. It's worth it because at the end of your life, the only freaking thing you're going to take with you is the love you gave and the love you experienced, period, the end. So it's worthwhile learning how to do this and stepping into this. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. On the first link on the description of this video, you'll find a lesson that I created for you that shows you how to create a relationship if you're not in one right now, with a lot less pain and with more speed <laughs> than your current trajectory. All you have to do is click on the first link and enter your name and email. You'll be redirected to that class right away. If you found this video helpful, please click like or thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel. If, last but not least, if you're someone who's watching this and you're tired of watching videos and you're tired of running in circles and you're tired to, of bumping your head against the wall because you for whatever reason haven't found out what's missing to create what you want i might be able to help you i help women on a coaching basis to <laughs> get what they want without the need for rediscovering the will uh, second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to connect with me and figure out where match to work together thank you so much for connecting with me as always i challenge you to live a full and a conscious life